Hello everyone and welcome back to the Road to Cricket Glory career mode guys episode number 31 on Cricket Captain 2020 with New Zealand and today is a very very special episode of course it is the T20 World Cup final in 2020 the 15th of November at the Adelaide Oval here we are we're taking on South Africa in the T20 World Cup final the first time both these nations are competing for the T20 World Cup in the final. Neither nation has won the T20 World Cup before. We have a chance to potentially tick one of our big goals off early in the career mode. Can we get it done is the real question. Can we add our first trophy to the trophy cabinet? It will be seen today. Let's go and see what we can do in the World Cup final. Will we make any changes? I do not think so. I think we've run with this team. We've only lost one game thus far, and it's fair to say we're going to have to keep going. Let's actually look at the World Cup statistics. We can see our batters have done pretty okay. Timonesium has struggled a little bit with the ball and with the bat at times, but nonetheless, he's actually doing okay, all things considered. Phillips averaging 16.75, not the best, not the worst. We just need a little bit out of him for this last game in the T20 World Cup final. Can we get across the line, guys? Let me know down in the comments section below, guys, who will get across the line. Let me know. Otherwise, without further ado, we are going in to play the T20 World Cup final. South Africa qualify in first position. I guess it doesn't really matter anyway, because it's not really a home ground for either one of us. So here we go. The T20 World Cup final. It's going to be a hard game against South Africa, obviously, because Milan, De Kock, Klassen, Duplessis, right there. They all average very good averages with the bat. And with the ball, they are extremely good as well. They are right up there with us with the ball as well. So this is going to be a very, very interesting match, you would say. Very 50-50 final, that's for sure. Kane's going to call heads. Oh, tell you what, that is the worst nightmare. We have not batted first all tournament, and we're batting first in the final. All right, let's do it. It would be fair to say I'm not the biggest fan of this decision made by South Africa, but we're going to have to do what we're going to have to do now. Oh, no, Phillips has gone for Golden Duck. Oh, no, he's 2 or 4. Okay, never mind. 2 or 4 for Glenn Phillips. Well, not the start New Zealand want in the grand final, that's for sure. Ngidi to Williamson. Hits it through the leg side, and that's the first boundary of the T20 World Cup final. Oh, Williamson. Oh, what a shot. Don't mind a bit of that. Rabada. To Gapdu. Edged and dropped. Oh, big moment. Gapdu is dropped. And he hits a boundary. Ngidi to Williamson. Off the back foot. What a shot. Ngidi to Williamson. And it's a swing and a miss. Ngidi to Gapdu. Through his legs. And Dil Filoguayo averaging 18 with the ball into the attack early, into the power play. And that's a great over, not gonna lie. Very good over that. Williamson, good shot inside out for not a great power play for New Zealand run rate wise, but nonetheless, we have recovered after that early wicket. Oh my goodness me, Gupto is struggling big time. Good shot inside out though. For four. Goes leg side. Beats fine leg for four more. Ngeti. And again. Four more. Look at Filaguayo. Two of his none for three. Oh, and then Guptil breaks that. For four. Filaguayo to Guptil. Full and wide. No run. Cuts it away for six. What a shot from Williamson. Second six of the night. I don't know if you guys saw that little glitch there, but the... The rope actually went into the, the barrier there on the side. I'll see if I can show that again. Morris into the attack around the wicket. Whipped it away. See, the, the boundary rope's inside the hoarding there. That's interesting. Oh, that's the only runs of the over, though. All right, we've, we've got a platform here. Now we've got to capitalize on it. That's boundary for Guptal. Down the ground. Four more. Around the wicket. And he's gone. Williamson goes for 38 off 37. A new all-time record partnership in the final. Against South Africa, 80 for the second wicket. Conway kind of has to get going here pretty quick. Oh, shot. <laughs> six runs over cover. And now Guptal, six more. Ooh, I'm a little bit worried this pitch looks good to bat. 
which probably means we have to go for it a little bit more here. Pretorius to Conway, that's a six. Over, third man. Inside out for Guptil. It's going to be his 50. Well played, Martin Guptil, 50 in the World T20 World Cup final. Outside leg, seven overs to go. Cut away from Conway for six. What a shot, 26 off 10. Conway, and he's gone. Bold. Off 26 off 11. Well, I tell you what, I will take that any day of the week. Ross Taylor. Misses it. Pretorius to Ross Taylor. Pulled. Oh, no. Is he going to run himself out or Guptil out? He's run out himself out. Okay, okay. He's run himself out. Whew. I was a little bit worried there. Okay. Guptil's still in. Five overs remain. Chapman has probably one over to get himself in here. Great shot from Guptil for four. On 26. Probably one. Oh, I don't know. Just any... any Sort of 160 would be a good score, I reckon. 134 is all we've got, though. Guptil's going to have to go here. That's a swing and a miss. He gets a single, though. Chapman hits that for four. Guptil. Shot. It's a no ball. It's four. Free hit. Off the back foot for four more. 149. Guptil. Bolden. Brilliant Yorker. Guptil, 71. What a knock in the final. Two overs remain. Or is this the last? Oh, this might be the last delivery, I think. Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> Not sure. Singles. Bolden. Okay, one more over. There's still one more over. 153 for six. Nisham. Oh, that's well bowled. One f dot ball. We're just going to have to go for it here. Nisham. Send it, mate. Oh, he sent it. And he's going to be run out. Satna for a diamond duck. Uh, Jameson. Swings and misses. Come on, boys. Battle ball. Oh, and he's edged off. Well, oh, this has been horrible. Bolt, and he's edged off. And that is the end of the innings. A wicket maiden. A triple, double wicket maiden and a run out to end the innings. Oh, that is a horrible end to our innings. I tell you what. Oh, I'm very worried that that is not enough, guys. I'm not going to lie. It is something on the board. I don't know if it's going to be enough against South Africa on this wicket, though. All right. Trent Bolt will begin things off to cock. Cuts it away for six over cover. Milan. Swings and misses. Jameson to open things up. Two to cock. Oh, he's edged it to fine leg for four. Full toss for four. Cock is going crazy to start things off here. Trent Bolt to Milan. And he's cut that away for four as well. And this has not started very well for New Zealand. Lockie Ferguson in the power plate to cock. Edged in the gap, no run. Oh, inside out for four. Oh, this is not very good for New Zealand. Bolt to cock. Swings and misses. Bolt to the cock. Inside out. Four. South Africa currently too good for New Zealand. Now it's cut away for four. They are all over us here. I don't know what we're going to do, guys. I really don't know. How are we going to come back? Nishim to the cock. Edged. Good over, actually. 50 up, though. Mitchell Satner into the attack. We're going to need him to pull through something on this final. And that's cut away for six. Satner to the cock. Oh my goodness me. Well, it's fair to say, guys, that South Africa are well and truly on their way to winning this game. I mean, I, they've just been blitzing it. They've been very good in this tournament, to be fair. And we haven't been on song tonight at all. We had a, a good position with the bat earlier in the day, but we just couldn't get it done. De Kopp, though, and that's his 50 in the final off 30 deliveries. Satna goes for 14 off his only over. It's just not meant to be at the moment, guys. It's fair to say. Unless that is a run out. Which it is not. The cock. Can he guide South Africa to their maiden T20 World Cup? At the moment, 80 without loss. Oh, it's just edged in the gap. Lockie Ferguson, he's really our only choice of wickets. Yes, a wicket. There you go. We're going to take it. The cock edge down the leg side, but we're going to need plenty more of that. We're going to need plenty more where that came from, it's fair to say. Rusty van der Dusen. Swings and misses. Satna to van der Dusen. He's cut it for six. He averages six in this tournament. Cannot believe it. Jimmy Neesham, can he do something? Nope, he's been hit for six. Milan. Bold him. Okay, we have a second wicket. Don't think it's going to be enough. David Miller. Satin's going at 11s per over. Oh, no. It's really just one of those games, guys. Honestly, we had to play our best cricket. 
and unfortunately we've turned up to the final and we just ha we're just not doing it. With the bat and with the ball, it's not happening. Straight and that's four. He's just going to bowl full tosses to T20 World Cup finalists. It's just not good enough, really, from New Zealand. Nisham to Van der Dusen. He edged it for one. About to Miller. Bowled him. Okay. Three wickets down. I don't think it's going to change too much there. And E36 after all. Oh my goodness me. Duplessis hits it for six. And down the ground for four. I really do apologize, guys, for disappointing you all. I disappointed myself, but unfortunately, we just, we're just we just not going to get across the line tonight. Just... Oh, just a misfield. Six. That's the game. Four runs needed. Trent Bolt around the wicket. Two runs needed. And that is the game. Duplessis drives it off the back foot. And South Africa lift the T20 World Cup for the first time. Quinton de Kock, 64. Pretorius, the player of the match, for four for 27. And New Zealand, well, we... We go home empty-handed, heartbroken in the T20 World Cup final. Very disappointing stuff, but we didn't deserve it, really. We were batting so well with Guptill and Williamson, but no one else could help us out. And unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. Pretorius 4 for 27 with the maiden. Rabada 2 for 23 for the Guayo bowled well. And none of our bowlers turned up. Mitchell Satner had his worst game the whole tournament. Look at this. And unfortunately, that those sort of things happen. Decock gets 64. And South Africa are the champions of the T20 World Cup in 2020. Well, it's fair to say, guys, I'm pretty heartbroken. We played exceptionally well throughout the whole tournament, but it's just it just didn't turn out the way we wanted it to turn out, unfortunately. South Africa cruise home. Decock 64 of 36. Just couldn't get him out, and our bowlers just couldn't do anything, really. Lockie Ferguson was brilliant, as always. Trent Bolt was pretty good, but not good enough. Oh, well, we move on. We're going to have to wait to the next T20 World Cup to exact our revenge. We move on to some test match cricket. We, we're we trying to get over the heartbreak of our T20 World Cup loss in the final. And we move on to test cricket here against the West Indies, where, of course, we are competing for the test championship that New Zealand just won in real life. But we're trying to get up in this game and do it as well. But can we do it? is the real question. It's going to be very, very interesting indeed. We have two more series to play against West Indies and Pakistan, and we're currently sitting in fourth place with 300 points. So with England and Australia still with a couple of series and India as well to play, we really have to beat West Indies, who've only won one of their seven test matches thus far. And we have to beat Pakistan, who's 2-5 at the moment with two no results four of six as well so it's definitely going to be a fight and a half for the test championship in 2019 slash 21 guys we are nearly there there obviously has been no previous winners as of yet can we make the test championship in this game guys can we make the test championship final and potentially win the test mace like new zealand just did in real life guys let me know down in the comments but guys that is actually going to be it for today's episode guys i apologize for all you guys out there who were rooting for me to lift the cup. Unfortunately, we just didn't quite have a good enough team to lift it this time. South Africa were the better side on the day. And unfortunately, we go down in the final and finish runners up. But nonetheless, we will be back. We will bounce back and we will be raring to go for this New Zealand Test Summer to try and qualify for the Test Championship in the next episode, guys. So if you did enjoy them, please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below, especially on Twitter. I tweet out a lot and join my Discord server or hit the post notification bell to receive exclusive updates for when all my videos go live. Let me know your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below, guys. What you thought of the tournament? Did you think we could have done a better job in the final? Or do you think South Africa was simply too good on the day, guys? And let me know who should make the New Zealand Test Squad for the series coming up against the West Indies for the Test Championship points, guys. Let me know down in the comments. Any suggestions at all for players, let me know, guys. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next episode of this exciting series, guys. Goodbye for now.